Now keep in mind that in the real world there are plenty of examples that don't involve 90 degree angles where we don't get right triangles and we can't simply use the Pythagorean theorem. Just for example we might have an airplane flying in the wind. So suppose here's an airplane. It might look something like this. And he's flying this way. So we'll say VA for the velocity of the airplane. That vector represents how fast he's moving and in what direction. And we think of that as the airspeed, how fast the plane is moving relative to the air. But the air itself might be moving. So let's draw some wind here. Here comes some wind. And the wind is blowing in this direction. So we'll write here, we'll call this VW for the velocity of the wind. So the airplane is moving in a particular direction at a particular speed relative to the air, but the air itself is moving. You can probably see that the plane's speed relative to the ground will be a combination of these two. We might have the velocity of the air and the velocity of the wind added together. And we end up with some vector like this, but we don't necessarily have a right triangle. Because in the real world, the plane could be flying in any direction and the wind could be blowing in any direction as well. And it's very rare that they happen to be exactly at 90 degrees to each other. In this case, we still have math that we can do to figure out how fast the plane is moving relative to the ground. We can still add these vectors up if they're not at right angles. We're not going to do that in this course. The math to do, to do that is trigonometry, and it's more advanced than what this course is intended to do. But it can be done. So just know, just know that in the real world there are plenty of cases that don't come out to nice 90 degree angles. We're just keeping it simple now with 90 degree angles and right triangles because we can do the math more easily with the Pythagorean theorem.